It's a middleweight matchup between Robbie Lawler and Yoel Romero. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out. My right? striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Nice hammer fist. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, beautiful knees in the clinch here. Effective punch there by Romero. And he landed the right hand there. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Joel Romero. Lawler's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. That he knee, comes through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. They're going at it now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right hand and finds the toe. I mean, you watch him. He's knocked out some of the greatest middleweights of all time. Luke Rocco, Chris Weidman. He's put guys to sleep in a variety of ways, and tonight he does it again. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. We can win this round. I need well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times... to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 10 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joel, soldier of God, Romero. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.